Hello everyone, I'm Lauren Kana and welcome. Today I'm going to follow up on my last video about my new favorite card from Shimmering Skies, Daisy Duck Donald's Date. On Monday's video, linked in the description below, I walked through the card, the concept of virtual card advantage, and why I think Daisy is so good, and as promised, today I'll be giving you some deck list building with Daisy. The first list I have is an Amber Amethyst list, which has been one of the most traditional builds for aggressive. Adding Daisy to Lilo Making a Wish and Maleficent we'll Just in Time gives the deck a third one ink quester for two, which is a strong place to start. They are accompanied by Magic Broom, Chernobyl Swallowers, and Pascal in the one drop slot to ensure you can get on board as quickly as possible, though they do leave you vulnerable to an early sun grab your swords. These early drops are supported by the bounce package, including Arthur, and Amethyst to provide a mid-game support to the aggressive plan. One of the benefits of this deck is that between Friends on the other side and Merlin Rabbit, what the deck sacrifices in speed Daisy, that Daisy looks to provide, it gains a card advantage to keep it playing cards well into the later terms of the game. The next list I have is what most people have suggested when I said I was going to build with Daisy. It's an Emerald Amber Aggressive deck. The obvious reason to start here is because Previously, Emerald had the best aggressive characters with Curse Merfolk and Flynn Rider. There is a little dissynergy between the discard characters and Daisy giving your opponents more cards, but the undeniable aggressive power of these 12 characters is hard to deny. The Emerald build plays at medium speed of the three decks I built, with the Amethyst being the slowest and the next one the fastest. This is largely because of everyone's favorite burb, Diablo. While the 3 ink draw engine doesn't quest at light speed, he keeps your hand full and ensures that you'll have gas coming even if your earliest threats are answered. And finally, my third, fastest, and favorite of the decks, Amber Sapphire. What is at heart a largely mono Amber deck, the Sapphire does add a couple of things. The 2 ink Ana adds another 2 lore, 2 cost character with a high willpower, and Caterpillar may be the best aggressive 3 drop in the game. What I really love about this deck is that it's so resilient against Let the Storm Rage On and Grab Your Swords. Excepting Piglet and Lilo, all of your multi-lore questers have at least three willpower. The draw engine of the deck are three Rapunzels and the Stick Ro Stitch Rockstar package. These best allow you to push the game forward while being unrelenting in their aggressiveness. I'm a dozen games deep with this deck and I found it to be an impressive build that I want to take forward. Those are just three of the many ways to build the deck. I know some people are trying Steel Song with her, and the Ambi Amber Ruby Just in Time location deck could probably be served well with an aggressive one drop. Whatever you want to do with Daisy Duck, she's got your back, as long as you're trying to go fast. I'm Lauren Kana, and have a great day.